Hi, I'm Patricia Clarkson. I'll be reading a story called Wizzy the Ginger Biscuit. The story is about a little girl named Anna who bakes a ginger biscuit for Santa on Christmas Eve. But then something strange happens to her biscuit. What could it be? Wizzy the Ginger Biscuit, read by Patricia Clarkson. There was whispering and laughter in the village. It was Christmas Eve and the children wouldn't sleep because they wanted to see Santa. Anna stayed up too. It was her 10th birthday on Christmas Day and she was excited. She tried on her new dress and shoes and made sure the tree was perfect for Santa. She then baked a ginger biscuit for Santa and named it Wizzy. Wizzy looked amazing and smelled great. But suddenly, Wizzy flipped up in the air. Oh no, said Wizzy, you're not eating me tonight. She zoomed off towards the window. She was about to jump out of the window when she heard a sobbing noise. Wheezy stopped. She turned around and saw Anna crying. Why are you crying? asked Wheezy. Anna wiped her tears. Well, if you go, I won't get any presents from Santa, she said. Santa will only bring me a present if I leave something for him under the Christmas tree. Oh, dear me, said Wizzy. Maybe I can help you. But how can you help? asked Anna. You're a biscuit. Well, I'm a special biscuit, said Wizzy. But first, let's clean this place up. It's a mess. Now close your eyes and count to ten. Wizzy was bossy. Anna did as Wizzy asked, and when she opened her eyes, the kitchen was spotless. Anna was dazzled by Wizzy's cleaning. Wow, she said, looking around her. But where is Santa's treats? Ah, yes, said Wizzy. Follow me, please. Wizzy flipped up in the air and headed towards the door. Anna quickly followed on behind her. Swish, swash, wizzy, whiz, whiz, said Wizzy and wobbled excitedly. Suddenly, there was a flash of light beneath the Christmas tree. Then a plate of ginger biscuits appeared. There, your treats for Santa, she said. Yippee! Anna screamed. She brought a glass of milk and put it next to the biscuit. That's it, said Wizzy. I should leave now. Please stay, said Anna. I don't have anyone to play with. Wizzy wanted to go, but Anna would be sad if she did. So she stayed, but planned to leave as soon as Anna was in bed. In the morning, the Christmas tree had lots of presents under it. Anna was excited and wanted to thank Wizzy. She looked everywhere for Wizzy, but couldn't find her. Wizzy! she called, but there was no answer. Anna went into the kitchen and called out for her. Wizzy! Wizzy! she said. Help! Help! A faint voice came through. Anna jumped. She looked around but didn't see anyone. Who's there? she said. Help! Help! the voice came again. It was coming from the kitchen window. Anna looked out the window, but all she saw was rising sun. Anna was puzzled. Who is it? she said. Help! Help! 
the voice said again from below the window. Anna looked down and noticed something move. Wheezy! she screamed. It was so hot that Wheezy's icing was melting. Anna rushed outside and scooped Wheezy up. She took her into the kitchen and fixed her up again. Wheezy was pleased that she wasn't soggy and melting anymore. Anna was happy to get Wheezy back. Wheezy helped Anna open her presents and they had lots of fun together. Wheezy was so pleased to be with Anna. The End you are listening to Wheezy the Ginger Biscuit, written and read by Patricia Clarkson. <laughs>